Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I am sharing a haul. Now, this haul is combined of two different hauls. So sometimes it's like a, either you have a quick little video because the haul wasn't so large and then you have another quick little video because uh, yet again, it wasn't so large. Sometimes that happens. So in today's video, this is combined of two of my hauls between going out and about searching for treasures in the wild to share with you all, not only for resale, but also looking for items to be able to make over. Okay, so Chris is gonna help share the haul today and I am going to video because it was elbow to elbow people and it was a little bit crazy, but we went in twice, we paid once and then went in again when people had died off. So this is just a skim view, just scanning over what we got and then I'll let Chris explain because it'll be fun. So. All right, so the first thing that I saw when I went in in the garage, just sitting on a shelf, and they said anything not marked was just two bucks. So I saw these flower frogs. I know Yvonne does these a lot in her booth. So I grabbed those, all three of those. Um, then back here, when we were going the second time through, there was uh, a box. Actually, there was a bunch of shelves up on the top of uh, the garage and no one had looked so through. We found these two brushes in a box. And then when we got home, we pulled it out and those have got to be like 10 inch long scissors right there with the black handle. Well, here we have a yardstick right next next to it. So it's backwards, but uh, it's about <laughs> come uh, on, do reverse. Well, that 10 inches would be here. Yeah, so it's so, 14 inches. 13, oh my 14. gosh! Oh my gosh! How do you how do you cut with those bad boys, y'all? I like these because look at I you know y'all I love lettering. This one doesn't have it, but that red is just way cool. And I, you know, I don't know if anybody collects them like I collect them, but those are way cool. So also in the garage for the $2 table was this rolling pin. It has the green that Yvonne likes on it too. Um, you had spotted these, correct? Yeah, I think there? she just ended up giving those to me because she's like, I'm not charging you two dollars i love little wooden pieces to put in the you know cracks and ironstone pictures so so these are funny we actually had found these at an auction six months ago or so probably uh, and they sold fairly fairly fast on uh, ebay and then yvonne was going back through the garage for a second time and they were down at the bottom of a box but they're just little those, those little, hooks. little cast iron hooks do you all remember those from a haul quite a while ago that uh, yeah, that that I was happy to run across a set of those. You got some, they're semi-vintage yardsticks. You know, I'm still working on a project. Sooner or later, I'll make a project out of yardsticks. Also in the back of one of those drawers, Yvonne found this little mini oil can. Uh, minis, for some reason, sell better than the big ones. Because everything little is cute. I don't know why, it just is. Um, this, this actually, when we got done, we had to stop at a local antique store. And it is a hook that hangs. I don't know. I just thought it would be neat to hang something in an outdoor booth, maybe, or even in our booth baskets or something. I just a, it was a ninety-five percent off booth, so <laughs> that person was done with their um, display units. Um, this crock, I saw this out in the garage, six dollars, but it also came with all this nice driftwood. Uh, we usually do a lot of little projects with these driftwood pieces, also, so that works out mm, well. Yeah, my my wheels are turning, y'all. Okay, got some cards. Uh, yep. Yvonne was digging through a box full of, the guy must have played, the guy and the lady must have played solitaire forever. Oh my forever. gosh, they, they had, had like, hundreds of cards. They had like, yeah, a hundred deck of cards, but I went through, can you pull one out? The, I don't know if this is a pinochle deck or canasta deck, but there's well, a ton. Well, it's got some regular cards in it too, well, I it's, noticed, but. They're all. Oh, it's the back of them. It's the back these. of them is what caught me, those that fox. But when I was trying to count if there was 52, there's more than 52. But I, the fox, the graphics on it and the age of them are just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And then these were little bitty old maid cards. And oh, there again, small. There's, see, they're tiny. <laughs> Something about little bitties. So, and then that was just an old mate or a matching game, rummy maybe. I'm not sure because um, it'll have L L four three two one. Yeah, I haven't them. went through that yet. Hopefully that they're all there. She was a teacher this estate. She was actually teacher of the year one year. So she, I think that's another reason she probably had a lot of this kind of stuff. Matching set. Yep. Yeah, so I thought you all would enjoy that. You, I've sold a lot of these little cards to y'all on eBay. 
You want to explain this? Uh, well, this was in the garage with some uh, some hazardous um, spray paint and sprays oil. and stuff, and I'm like, all of a sudden, I noticed it that I'm like, oh, it's that green. Oh, oh, that label. So, yeah, so I was surprised that was not where it probably would have belonged, but I was happy to find it. I know these are pink depression glass. They're the um, refrigerator salt and pepper. Oh, yep, yes, just salt and pepper. Yeah, salt and pepper. So those those were awesome to find. I know y'all like those refrigerator ones. Um, then in, also in the garage in one of those cupboards. The same place I found this. <laughs> there those, were, I think there's marbles. They were stacked on top of each other, and I these, think. These are not new marbles. These yeah, are these very are old. old. Uh, this one is a little bit newer. At the top. Keeps focusing in on. Oh, look, aren't those cool? Oh my gosh. Those are way cool. And then. Usually marbles. Down at the uh, bottom, there's. Yeah, nobody wanted too. to dig in that cupboard because you guys, it had like flea powder and mouse guard or whatever. I bet you nobody want. But we were daring. When I once I saw those marbles, I was like, oh, "Okay, well, let's dig in here." And then I found that. So, our hands are washable. Our hands are washable. Yep. Uh, they also had a bunch of jars or uh, beer, yeah. beer oh, and bottle pot bottles and stuff, glass bottles. So these ones caught my eye because they've got the rubber stopper still in them. Yeah, and look at the graphics on the side of them, and they still have the paperwork. Some people like to collect stuff like this. So, um, tin can, tin can. I'm working on projects for you all, and I that one's gorgeous. That. That blue is gorgeous. Yep, that's what I paid for it, $10. But come on, it had a lid. It had a lid. <laughs> Whether I put a little something, something on it, some decoupage paper, you can turn it around to the other side. It's 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 a beautiful tin. It's rusty crusty, but it's old. This one, not so old. Not, not so old, but the same thing. I was looking for items that I can put some decoupage paper or transfer something on it. Um, seven ninety nine yeah. or seven ninety seven. Where do you find that nowadays? You got it for two dollars. I got it for two dollars. Anything that wasn't priced was two dollars. So <laughs> this tin can. Yep, I like that tin can. Also, is that the one the bonnet was in? No. Oh no. So this one, this coffee. It's. Look at that! I love graphics. I could I put a fun little right there from Toledo, fun Ohio. little label on that. It's funny the labeling on those kind sell better than. Leaving them alone. But when I was unpackaging but. things and putting them around, I opened it up and found <laughs> this little. This. this little. We're sure. We're not sure. We're not if sure it, if it's a bonnet. I think it might be a purse. Or is it a purse that you would have? Eh, oh, I think it's a purse. Like a purse. I think it's a purse. It was in that tin, though. I thought when I shook it, I'm like, oh, there's coffee beans or something. However, in there. though, it's not going to hold much change. Uh, yeah, anybody a sewer? That's sad because it is days. super cute. But the beadwork is awesome if you know how to fix something like that. So, unless somebody's interested on that. Back in the garage, another two dollar item. Almost everything out in the garage was two dollars. Well, and you know that was kind of like ticking t toward you know y'all. So I can see taking pieces and parts of that apron and using it for something else. I Almost the way that this is so big would remind me of somebody who is um, picking eggs. Hmm. Whether I'm wrong or not, just because well, there's such a, big po such a big po pocket. Then a little bass, or uh, a little You know, bag. those, those that linen, that linen, every time I will pick it up if it's reasonable. I think those are bank bags is what they used to be. So. I know you're not supposed to show license plates <laughs> well, on cars, but these are not on a car, and <laughs> if it was, it was back in 78. Yeah. But we got both of these for a dollar, so. <laughs> well, because it was, you know, $2 for the box that was, they but were But our in. son sells these in his booth, so we'll probably just donate them to him. And then I saw these little I, hens on the nest. They had the hen on the nest priced too high for me to resell. But I thought, these are little salt shakers, and I know a lot of my viewers who buy from me collect blue. So I thought, okay, I will pick these up for you all. They're, I didn't see any chips or cracks or anything like that. I can't really read that tag. Japan, Japan so they've got some age to them. They're definitely cute, though. That'd look nice with your blue wear, wouldn't it? And then I know if you watch me long enough, you know I'll never pass up one of these sponge frogs because even at the $4 price, that's what Goodwill would sell it for. Little, um, hold on, a little 
rust remover will get that out because a lot of times people do the SOS pads. And this one must have been made for her because <laughs> it says 1976 Merry Christmas Mrs. Clark from Chris Flint. Isn't that not cool? So I don't know if these were always like in the um, 70s, but yeah, these usually sell. I 12 bucks is usually what I resell them for, so they don't last when I put them in my booth. And then I grabbed every little brass animal that I could carry in my hand because I did not grab a bag. Like I said, it was elbow to elbow people. So we got this long tailed kitty cat. Why are it? It's just not focusing scary right. Face. Oh, he kind of does have a scary <laughs> face, doesn't he? And then this little brass do doggy. I think he's just metal, though, because look at that. I think somebody painted him to look. But he is metal. Let's see if I can get him to focus in on his cute little face. And then we then we got a deer. Cute little baby deer. A couple... Oh, well, this one's heavier. <laughs> a couple little... This is a heavier little kitty cat, and I think this would be a set. I would say that the, these two were a set. And then I think I got a duck, right? I did get a duck. Oh, yes, I got this cute... I've never seen a duck like this. I thought that was neat. Um, oh, be careful of this kitty cat. And then this was somewhere else. I'm like, oh, a brass planter, swan. Okay, those are awesome. And then a cast iron doggy. Oh, he's, he's super heavy. Too. He is. He's heavy. And then this, I, I have a thing for Siamese. I used to have Siamese growing up. So this one is just in pristine. I'm surprised. I, I kind of was trying to it's feel it. Yes, there. I was trying to feel it over that didn't have any chips or anything. And then the sticker is Hagen, Hagen, California. So I don't know much about that maker. I'm not that much of an antique person that I am knowledgeable in that by any means. And then I did pick up these Jumping cute up. little <laughs> these cute little owls. Um, I think what they were, they were supposed to be painted pieces to begin with, and then nobody ever painted them. So they have that age on them. So I'd probably repaint these because they just, they do, they look this dirty. This one has but, a face on both sides. Oh, yes, that one, Chris will turn it. It had a face on both sides. The, the little guys didn't, the little owl, owlets, owlets did not, but them, <laughs> so maybe mom and daddy at the same time. And then I loved this piece. I've actually um, resold pieces like this before. It's just glass and it's just, it, oh, this one will open. That's okay. It's just, it's got, you know, wavy beveled glass. This one has a rusty, crusty top on it is just beautiful i'm not going to try to pry that open with one hand by any means and then chris really wanted um the metal truck so i'll let him show you that one um this is just a it's a 1970s tonka it's uh, the jeep style and it's for towing another vehicle it's missing the attachment for the tow part and he actually did not get that at first it was him and another guy going for it and the other guy was before him <laughs> so but the other guy decided he only wanted the one and so he handed Chris over the other. Is that not nice? You just, you never know, y'all. You never know. And then, oh, you all know, if there's a bread box to be found, I picked up that one. I don't think this one needs anything done to it. Maybe some restore. It's in wonderful, oh, look, there's a, there's a um, clothespin in there. I, I, I oh, think nice. it's I think it's beautiful. I love the vintage vibe that it's going on with almost like a stained glass look and it had been there a while because when you picked it up <laughs> yeah there was probably 50 bread ties underneath it <laughs> yes there was so i think they just slid them under here when they got done yeah yeah i guess if you look under our bread box there might be stuff underneath that so that oh we forgot this little thing look at the Isn't graphics the on this thermometer that chris found um yeah just it, it's Another just all, haul. yeah, it's just the graphics of it all. So I thought I'd just add a little extra video in here. We went back to the hoarder's warehouse for the third time. So I didn't get a ton, but um, they have dug up some more layers and are still trying to sell stuff. Yes, months into it, they're still trying to sell stuff. So I was just looking for salvaged finds. I thought this piece was really neat. Look at it, it has some beautiful um writing on it so i can't wait to get that cleaned up um found a box of fourth of july 
wear. So got a couple fruit flags, got a couple new signs that I can actually use and some cute little vignettes or like this piece of wood, I can sand it off and do a project with it. So that was nice. Along with these rounds, um, they're just MDF board. So I will probably be making those two over. Um, oh, 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 since the shoes wanted me to show you them, they got stuck. Look at the cute little shoes. Oh my gosh, they're bunnies, y'all. Look at those little bunnies. It was one of the only sets that I could find that were matching. Um, ooh, ooh, yeah. Anyway, cute little, sh little bitty shoes. I found this string of... It's still digging in boxes, y'all. It's somewhat organized, but it's still digging in boxes. So I found a wire of Rusty Krusty Stars. This cute little metal tin tiered. Oh my goodness. A couple little primitive wood block pieces that are super cute. Super cute. A couple little metal stars. Um, yeah, I mean, I cannot believe that we're still finding stuff. Um, I found another one of those bells, y'all. <laughs> yeah, we already sold those other two um, from the last haul that were in my discard pile that I did not know. Now, people said they were for sheep, but this one actually shows a cow on it. So I did grab that one. There's a few more sheep decor pieces. This beautiful, primitive, fun sheep bowl. Oh my gosh, super cute. Another little pillow with some sheep. Oh my gosh, is that not too cute? Now, on the, the primitive doll's not really my jam, but that little mouse was my jam. I'm like, oh, he's too cute. So I had to grab him, and I grabbed a couple of these towels um, that had the sheep on them. Way cute. Just some wooden pieces. Um, here's a little turtle, little ceramic turtle. He's cute. A little Uncle Sam. He's got a tag on him. Um, he's a nice little wooden primitive decor piece. I thought he was, what does that say? Oh, Uncle Sam, Sarah's Attic. I think it is super cute. Uh, there we go. We got a pair of natural unfinished candlesticks. Another little wooden piece. A little wooden pear. I just still cannot believe what we can find when we're picking in the, in there. Like I said, she's got a lot of it separated. They have a lot of it separated now. Um, I did pick up another set of brand new candles that I could do that grungy technique on. I probably won't do anything to this sign. So this is Arm and Hammer, Armor Hammer, Arm and Hammer brand soda. Just a nice sign. A little rusty crusty scoop. This is a new purchase good. It's not vintage, but it's still a nice decor piece. Chris found this little thing. So it's one of those nutmeg graters, but <laughs> it's like spring loaded. And oh my gosh, is that not? That is just, I'll figure out how to fit that into something. I was happy to run across these pitcher trees. I don't have any more pitcher trees um, in my inventory so this one's cool with the hearts and the wire so you know I'm not usually a heart person but sometimes when they're cool like this the coolness trumps the hearts I just think it's a really neat piece to put pictures postcards what have you along with this piece which is brass and it's got some nice little tarnishing on the I would leave that alone because that is awesome <laughs> that's awesome little Tarnish. Um, these I could just sell as is. I've sold many um, metal. I don't know if they're brass or not. They're just metal. I don't, I cannot really tell, but they're metal and I've sold them just as they are, as long with these clear glass butter dishes. Just needs a bath and that'll be good to go. Yes, these are just some kind of pieces that probably made little cubbies, but they're nice to have in your stash. This frog is just super cute. He just, yeah, he needs a bath too, but he's got a great patina going on there. And then one less, one less block. I must have missed a block when I was there, so I grabbed that. This cute broom. Look at this cute little broom with that green color. Oh my gosh. Little butter press mold. Another little broom. 
Um, this amazing find I thought was great. It's newer. It's not old, but wow. Wow, I say. Um, yeah, and they even sold me the postcards, little cards with it, um, which look like Christmas cards, maybe. So those are way cool. Oh, my gosh. Just... That's a hard decision. Do I keep this piece for myself as for display or do I, yeah, y'all, do I, <laughs> do I resell it? So then we ventured into a couple antique stores and then I found this cute little scale. You know, I have a problem. And if I see prices that I can resell them for, I'll pick them up. I pay for what they're asking for. And if I see um, that I can resell it for more than that, I will pick it up. I was happy to find one of these that wasn't with its companion of the juicer because I loved my little trees that I made at Christmas time. So I was happy to find one of those. So Chris found uh, one of these stereo view. Oh my gosh, the glass is in it. It's just missing the little handle piece. He might fix that. Put something on there so it's not sharp but other than that it's the beautiful beautiful metal y'all so i was happy to run across this cow i think if i do some rusty crusty paint on him he will just look so much better there's just some paint jobs that just value you know they just elevate a item just so much better um he found i found this little tobacco basket oh that was a fun find nice little size not huge another little pitberry wreath i'm always going to pick those up when i see them uh one of those measuring what are these called measuring sticks <laughs> i'm gonna call it a measuring stick it's just it's nice it's nice to have these i'm gonna start probably doing some projects with them a bag of marbles for a dollar. Okay, you're coming home with me. I got a few things I need to unwrap and then this I'll show you. packages were a set of cast iron ch chippy birds. Okay. <laughs> um, this is a Stanley measuring tool. Um, anything that says Stanley, if it's reasonable, Chris is going to pick it up because it definitely has a resale value with the Stanley. And then this beautiful... BB Pottery Pitcher. Oh my goodness. Love this. Oh, beautiful. It's in pristine, pristine shape, y'all. And then I don't know if you can see <laughs> this. The mirror was in it, but on the way home, the mirror fell out, luckily. But it is a huge, old, maybe it was on a dresser or something mirror. So hopefully I can get that cleaned up. Um, I won't paint it, I don't think. Um, we'll see how many dings and... Because it's got some weird little screws and stuff on it. And hopefully this is just um, dust that will come off. It's not got... It's got some kind of weird yellow, yellow hues to it. Oh, and yeah, I got this... Just the bottom of this old cheese. Oh, look at those nails on there. I thought, you know what? Why can't I flip that and do something to hang on the wall, you know, because you've put flowers and stuff in there and it did take up a lot of money. <laughs> and then if you put like other decor, you need something up, but I think it would be beautiful wall decor. Those nails are just everything. It definitely hang it from the side so you can see those. He says, I thought this would be a cool sign, especially with those hinges still there. And that, it's. I mean, it's an old door off of something, but... Yeah, so he picked up this little galvanized piece to store some wood in there. And then, yeah, just some old pieces of cupboards that don't have their parts. So those are always nice little things to salvage and keep on hand. So that was our little pick, <laughs> little last pick, I think, from the Hoarder's Warehouse.